that was the problem all along. It looks like the K&N FIPK system was creating my lean condition at lower RPMs. This is crazy. scanner works what you do is you take this thing and you plug it into the OBD port under your steering wheel column once it pops up on the Wi-Fi we connect to it and once it's connected I'm gonna open up the car scanner pro app here and it takes a second and it's gonna connect Okay, so it loads up a dashboard for you. And what I wanna do is go into the live data monitoring. I'm gonna have a combined chart, short-term field trim, long-term field trim, uh, both banks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on all four of those. Okay, and I'm gonna say, okay, so it's gonna take a second and it's gonna load up those charts real time. The vehicle is currently at temperature and it's idling and my long-term fuel trim on bank one is 34.3 percent on bank two it is 34 percent what that is saying is that the vehicle is trying to add that much fuel on average to keep it at a safe level so that's showing you when you have a high percentage of a positive number that you have an issue with a lean condition now because it's both banks that means it's a singular cause if it was one bank or the other bank, I would start focusing on that bank itself. And also, if you rev up the engine, um, it's gonna go from vacuum to a more positive pressure. You're gonna see these percentages decrease from a high positive into a lower positive, especially at the short-term level. So right now my short-terms are at about 2% and I'm revving it at about 2,300 RPM or so. That's why you'll often hear people say, you probably have a vacuum leak because when you rev it, your vacuum starts to go away and it starts to not be such a factor in the short-term fuel trims. But my long-term fuel trims at Cruise and everywhere else are way out of whack, so are my short-term. And so we've got major issues here. We're gonna get them fixed. Hi guys, this is Christian with Ford Momentum. I wanted to do a quick episode and update you on my fiasco with the P0171 and P0174 check engine lights. Well, this is interesting. I just pulled into my parking spot and my check engine light illuminated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Car Scanner Pro app and I'm gonna show you how it reads diagnostic trouble codes. You wanna select read, unless you wanna clear it. And read again. Should be P0171, yep, it is. Bank one, too lean. So you can see it's it's triggered quite a few times here. And again, I really like this tool. Um, the OBD Reader plus the Car Scanner Pro app is about $20 total. So really a good deal. Officially narrowed it down to the K&N FIPK intake system. My particular 1UZ FE V8 does not like that intake system. K&N has had fantastic customer service throughout this. They sent me a brand new intake tube to see if my fuel trims would correct. I put the intake tube on and I drove around and I checked my fuel trims and they were still bad. For some reason, my ECU calibration perhaps or just everything kind of added together equals a system that runs exceptionally lean and it runs exceptionally lean in closed loop. That's what makes it really tricky. So even when you don't drive the vehicle hard, when you simply drive it normally,
you get an exceptionally lean condition. Short-term fuel trend is a real-time measurement of what the engine is doing at that moment in time. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. But I will tell you this, I did my due diligence for sure. And k &N recognized that. And by documenting everything that I had done to test the system, they were fully convinced and they believed me that this intake system on my particular car and my engine did not work as advertised. And they issued me a full refund. I had to field destroy the kit and show proof and I had to provide a receipt that showed how much I paid for the kit. k &N did a fantastic job throughout all this. I know that there are some reservations out there about various stories we've all heard about k &N intakes. I have run k &N intakes on my cars or panel filters for 27 years, and I have never had an issue like this with any of those kits or any of those panel filters. So I am gonna go ahead and say that I would run the stock intake, and that's what I'm gonna do. I will run a K&N panel filter in my stock intake system. But it's pretty amazing to see what I've done with my tune with the stock intake system in place. I have pulled a massive amount of fuel across the RPM range. And with the K&N system, I was actually adding a bunch of fuel. So you can see right there in open loop, the differences are drastic, at least on my car. The stock intake system, thumbs up. I'm going to stick with that for now. And I will continue to bring you episodes that you want to see. And I just wanted to give you a quick update. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. I'm going to tackle some transmission modifications. Stage one will be first, and then we'll get to stage two. See you then. Thanks for watching.